Hey guys, Nicole here. It's 3-3 season and today I'm gonna to show you a super quick potato pizza recipe featuring 3-3's stuffed olives. The ingredients for my potato pizza are a pre-bought thin pizza base, potatoes thinly sliced, sliced zucchini, sliced red onion, cherry boccaccini, olive oil, rosemary, dried oregano, crushed garlic. The first thing we have to do is thinly slice our potato, zucchini and red onion. I'm going to really lightly boil these potatoes just to ensure they're definitely cooked through. You only want to cook the potatoes for a few minutes just to start the cooking process. All our ingredients are chopped and ready to go. I've taken our potatoes off the stove. They cook for about five minutes so they're nice and soft. And now we're ready to start layering our pizza. Because this isn't a traditional pizza with a tomato base, I'm going to add a really generous drizzle of olive oil. And just make sure that it's really evenly spread out. I'm going to add some crushed garlic. You want to make sure all your ingredients are really evenly spread. Next, I'm going to place the onion on the pizza. Now I'm going to start layering our potato on our zucchini. Make sure you completely cover the base with zucchini and potato. Now that our base is fully covered with potato and zucchini, I'm going to give it another really good drizzle of olive oil. This will ensure the potato will go nice and golden brown. I'm going to add a really generous amount of salt because zucchini and potato can be quite bland without it being seasoned. Now I'm going to add some rosemary. I'm using fresh rosemary, but you can use dried as well. I'm going to add a sprinkling of oregano. The last thing I'm going to add to the pizza is boccaccini. I love this as an alternative to mozzarella. We'll cook that for about 30 minutes at 180 degrees. While the pizza is cooking away in the oven, I'm going to make the salsa, which we'll garnish it with. To make the olive salsa, you need 3 threes stuffed green olives, capers, roasted almonds, garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, dried oregano. Give the salsa a light blitz until it's a chunky texture. Remember this is a salsa, so you don't want it to be too smooth. The pizza's come out of the oven, so the last thing to do is to garnish it with the salsa that we made earlier, some yogurt and a little bit of rocket. So that's my potato pizza with a 3 threes olive salsa, perfect for any midweek meal. For more recipes and to see the full product range, go to the 3 threes website.